Hello guys, it's me again. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, Arch Linux on the Raspberry Pi 2. Now, of course, if you install Arch Linux, you get a black screen with, you know, the Linux things uh, with Pac-Man and all that. So what I did is I installed GNOME. Uh, and that is a bit of a mistake because it's really heavy. But, you know, I was also kind of curious if it ran well on the Raspberry Pi 2. So here we are. Uh, and then normally on this channel I do four things. I check the menu speed of uh, the OS, the browser speed, uh, the text writer speed, and I check the looks. So first of all the menu speed. Well here's the time agenda thing. Uh, it isn't all that, you, you can feel the lag a little bit, you know, if you click on that. Here, it's all a bit laggy, but it looks it looks pretty good, but it's laggy. But you know, it's Raspberry Pi 2, don't expect too much of it. We see these animations is like 3 FPS. <laughs> uh, yeah, the menu isn't fast. The settings don't even work. I can click on it, but it doesn't work. So, the browser speed. Firefox. Uh, Insult uh, Gromium 2, but I saw that Firefox run better, so. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a programmer. It it took me quite a while, like three or four hours, to install Konome on, the, on Arch Linux, plus download speed, of course. Uh, download time. But yeah. You know. I got it now. Yeah, browser speed isn't that fast. Um, nah, I wouldn't use it daily. It's way too slow. Watching videos is like 4 FPS. You could do it for the sound. Um, but if you really want to watch videos, you gotta install something else, man. You gotta install uh, Raspbian or Ubuntu with one of those uh, Genius things or something. I heard it was a way for that. So yeah, scrolling is not that good either, but you know, it's fine, it's really good why, come on. And then the text writer speed, I've got LibreOffice of course, there we go, runs pretty good, starts up uh, pretty fast. Um, there's not that much lag in when you type and it actually pops up on the screen, you know. Um, no, there's actually no lag in that. It just works. No, I don't want to save it. Okay, oh, and then the looks. Now this is where GNOME pops out. This is where it actually is in its full form. I mean, look at this. It looks amazing. I mean, like this. It's a bit of um, uh, uh, Android 5 style, you know, Fedora. I like it. When you lock it, you lock the wall thing. There we go. Look at this. Oh wait, here. Look at this. Looks awesome. And yes, I am logged in as a root. I'm not going to use this as a daily PC, so it doesn't even matter. For your safety. So yeah, uh, that was the video on uh, Arch Linux. Um, if you've got any questions about it, just ask them in the comments. I've got uh, some free time now, so I'll ask them. I will answer them as quick as possible. As you can see here, by the way, is that Arch Linux runs much like sixty, like sixty percent of your CPU, which is pretty heavy, and half a gig of your RAM. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.